Hello everyone and welcome to day 40 of this blog series on prayer as Philip Yancey asks, what difference does prayer make? His subtitle this week is Disarming Prayer, which is a sense is a rather curious heading that implies perhaps a casual relaxed approach to prayer. If a person for example is described as disarming, they're usually pleasant, calm and trying to ingratiate themselves, as in he has a disarming smile or personality. Disarming in the sense of the ability to lower one another's defences through some sort of natural charm. Now, as we know, watching the news and other stuff, there is so many um, bad things going on in the world at the moment. Terrorism, hate crime, COVID, natural disasters. Fear tends to grip hearts and souls, particularly if we watch the news and pay attention to it too much. But so much bad can bring questions and some confusion. Where is God in all this? What can we do? Well, here's the central truth to that question. Prayer matters. We know that prayer changes things, but too often, perhaps, we don't pray as much as we wish we could. Or we've tried praying everything we know um, and nothing changes. And we can feel hopeless, overwhelmed, afraid. Or even listen to the lie that perhaps God isn't listening. Prayer can and does change the world in a passionate, positive and powerful way. There's a few Ps for you. Disarming, uh, talk about, Philip Yancey talks about disarming. We can disarm difficult times through this passionate, powerful prayer. Prayer, of course, has the power to stop violence and killing. Could even change the weather if we wanted it to. Have you ever felt lost in hope and feel a bit crushed by life and circumstances? Are your personal circumstances a bit overwhelming sometimes, confused by the world's violence and tragedy, and we don't understand why good people have to suffer? Prayer can change your life and the world around you. We can effect change now, even when we're busy and rushed off our feet going from the daily routine of life. Prayers can be passionate and powerful. And we can learn to bring positive change through prayer. Many people, of course, waste years in a sense, or have, have years wasted for them, by feeling broken and bitter. And their spirits are crushed by the struggles of life. But prayer can revive crushed spirits and heal souls. It's what God wants, it's what God hopes, and indeed probably God prays for himself. Now this ought to be viewed as a bit of an encouragement, that prayer can revive crushed spirits. Prayer itself is based on encouragement that things will improve, that prayer requests will be answered and supported, that God is listening. But what difference does it make? Well, Jesus was God in human flesh. He did answer prayer. Miraculously, prayer made a difference in the life of every social outcast and every wounded sinner that Jesus healed. The Bible provides examples of how prayer changed the course of people's lives. Now, recently in in the church and the church grounds and the church porch, we had a gentleman he might be viewed as a social outcast with his own issues, staying in the porch for a few nights. And, and people felt a bit uneasy about that, particularly as his conduct can be a bit aggressive and loud. But God loves him. Now, whatever we think of his behaviour, and it wasn't acceptable at times, God still loves him and wants the best for him. And until we walk a mile in his shoes, we are not ones to judge. But we have made arrangements, and, and he's um, not going to be with us for a little while. Um, and I think you know that's probably for the best all round in terms of the church community. Um, but we still love him, and we still care for him when he appears. And we just set those boundaries that make sure his behaviour remains reasonable as it can be. So he went on his way. But prayer, we still pray for him, change course of his life, that we hope that we'll, we, we hope the best for him. But there's more to prayer than merely our impact on others. I believe that prayer makes a difference in, to God in creating a positive healing life force, if you like, of healing around others. We, in a sense, open the door to God to be more present in other people's lives, more able to provide more energetic, focused, life-changing possibilities. Now, while we can and never should quantify the power of prayer, put a figure on it, put a total on it, prayer is a factor in healing and wholeness of people. It's a holistic approach. Community, not just people, communities, institutions, the whole of creation. Prayer matters to God is the bottom line. Now our prayers should neither be impotent or lifeless or, or lacking direction, but it can still transform our lives and the world if we are humble and sincere in our approach to God. Prayer truly can make a difference for us, for those whom we pray, and for God. Prayer has no barriers, no limits, no days off. An important step in receiving the blessing of prayer is to humbly and sincerely offer those prayers to God. Now fortunately for us, we can do this anywhere, any time, because prayer is always available to us. But we must take the initiative, and if we do so, 
God will be eager to hear from us, comfort us, strengthen us, help us, and live up to his promise in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, to uphold us with his righteous hand. Amen. God bless everyone. Have a good week. Bye for now.